Hi, I'm Fabien Muff. Welcome to the public preview demo of Private Data Source Connect. First, let me give you a little introduction into what PDC is, what problem it solves, and how it works. Private Data Source Connect, or PDC in short, is a secure connection between your own network and Grafana Cloud. It connects the two via an encrypted tunnel. This allows you to monitor and alert on private network data. PDC is useful because a lot of critical data lives on private networks. And today, you have to open your network to a range of IP addresses to see that data in Grafana Cloud. PDC works by having the PDC agent creating an SSH tunnel between your own network and Grafana. Let me show you. This is my Grafana Cloud instance. And I have created a MySQL database inside my own private network that is not exposed to the internet for this demo. So under connections and data sources, we find this MySQL database here, and it is not exposed to the internet. So when I try to save and test, I expect this connection to fail, and it does. So let's try to get this connection working with PDC. To find PDC in the navigation, you can go to connections, and then private data source connections. This will lead you to your default private data source connection. You will only have one in um, public preview. And then we land on the configuration detail tab. This is the tab where you can learn how to set it up. First, you choose your installation method. I'll choose Docker for this demo, but you can also choose to run the PDC agent binary directly or choose Kubernetes. Then we have to generate the PDC signing token. You can choose the display name of the token. Um, this is just randomly generated, so you can choose anything. You can also choose an expiration date or leave it empty to never expire. So let's generate this token. And it was generated successfully. You don't have to do anything with this. You can save it if you want, but it is automatically added in the command in the next step. The next step is to deploy the PDC agent on your private network. So let's copy this and put it in my terminal. This looks good. This looks like the PDC agent was deployed. The next step is to assign a data source to my PDC. For that, I have to go to the data source detail page and look for the secure SOX proxy toggle and enable it. So let's go back to the data source. Here is the secure SOX proxy. Let's enable it and try to connect it again. And this worked, so this was successful. Let's go back to private data source. Connect. Now we land on the overview tab because we have already um, configured it. Here you find some general information like the name and the creation date. Then we have a token section here where you find the list of all your tokens. This is the one we just created before. You can also add more or delete them here. And um, in the last section in this tab, you find all the data sources which are assigned to this um, PDC. Let's see if we can see our data source. And here it is. Um, another thing is, um, this is public preview, so there are some limitations. As I told you, the PDC is limited to only one network, and also there is um, a selected set of data sources, which you can find in our documentation. We plan to add support for multiple networks and more data sources leading up to general availability later this year. So yeah, you can use PDC now in Grafana Cloud Pro and Advanced. Just head to connections and you find it here. Thank you so much.